Yeah, I think about life after MMA all the time. It's like, uh, it's something that, that gives me relief, man. It gives me balance in my life because th all I've ever done my whole life is train and fight, train and fight, train and fight, train and fight. So when my manager talks to me about, you know, five years from now and, you know, four fights from now, he doesn't, they, they don't understand and a lot of fans don't understand that each fight in the UFC, the preparation that goes into it, the way that I prepare, it's very, very, it takes a lot of energy out of me. It's very, very exhausting. exhausting. So it's like I have to choose to take it fight by fight. If I don't do that, I get overwhelmed. And, you know, that, that's just something that, that that's one of the, the cons of training and competing starting young is a lot of people understand is, is you get burnt out quick, man. And, and I really got to take it fight by fight because if I don't do that, I'll get burnt out. And I'm the type of guy that if I'm not having fun, I'm going to move on to something else in my life. And I know it ain't my time yet. But, uh, but I definitely do see, you know, other avenues for when I'm older. I don't see myself fighting until I'm, I'm 40. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see being a Randy Couture or something like that. I started way too young. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I definitely do see, to, to answer your question, I, I do see, uh, you know, a, a door, you know, outside of MMA when, I, when I'm done fighting. I, I do see, you know, 